I want to talk to you guys about um, the cast diagram. So this cast diagram, so let me write down the title. So cast diagram. This cast diagram is going to be um, helpful in order to solve basic trigonometric equations. Okay, so let me underline that. And let me briefly explain the cast diagram. Okay, so basically we have a circle. Okay, and this circle is divided into four quadrants. So let me divide this circle into four quadrants. Okay, so in the first quadrant we label that A. The second quadrant will label that S. The third quadrant will label that T. And in the last quadrant we'll label that C. Okay, so I'll explain why we do that, why we label it these letters um, shortly. Okay, so this line over here is the line representing zero degrees on our cast diagram. Okay. Um, so from this line to this line here, this line would represent 90 degrees on our cast diagram. Over to this line, so an angle in a straight line, 180 degrees. Okay. From the zero degree line to this line here, this line would represent 270 degrees on our cast diagram. And one complete revolution from the zero degree line would make this line 360 degrees. Okay. So, we'll be using that fairly soon when we go through some examples. But let me just briefly um, give you the idea behind this cast diagram. Okay? So, why did I label it A, S, T, and C? Well, in the all quadrant, so we call this A, A means all. So, in this quadrant, the first quadrant, sine, cos, and tan are positive. Okay? So let me just write down that. So sine is positive, cos is positive, and tan is positive. So all three ratios, sine, cos, and tan are positive in the first quadrant, quadrant number one. That is why we'll label it A. A means all. So A refers to all. Yeah. Now in the second quadrant, we label that S because only sine is positive, so sine is positive, okay? However, the remaining two ratios, cos and tan, are negative. So when it comes to the cast diagram, I forgot to mention that we only deal with the ratio sine, cos and tan. So going back to the second quadrant, we call that, we label that S, reason being is only sine is positive, cos and tan are negative, okay? Now, going to the third quadrant, we label that T, and you may have guessed it, we label that T because tan is only positive, and the remaining two ratios, sine and cos, are both negative. So only tan is positive, okay? And let me make it more clear encapsulating that T in red. And finally, in the fourth quadrant, C, we label that C because, yes, you guessed it, cos is positive. The remaining ratio, sine and tan, are negative. Okay, so only cos is positive. So let me encapsulate the C in a red, uh, in, in red, okay? Now, another thing to mention is that we we call the zero degree line, we call the zero degree line the initial line, okay? So we call that line the initial line, okay? And when using the cast diagram, okay, when measuring the solutions in particular, so if you want to measure positive solutions, we measure that from the initial line, so from the zero degree line in the anti-clockwise direction, and if you want to measure po uh, negative solutions, we measure them from the zero degree line in the clockwise direction. So, once again, 
positive solutions measured from the zero degree initial line in the anti-clockwise direction, whereas negative solutions measured from the zero degree initial line in the clockwise direction. Okay, so let me just um, put some bullet points here just to remind ourselves. So positive solutions or positive angles measured from uh, initial line, so from the initial line in, let me just make it short, anti-clockwise direction, whereas, let's put another bullet point over here, uh, negative angles, so negative angles, or if you want to measure negative um, solutions are measured from the initial line in the clockwise direction. Okay, so these things are important. So for positive angles you measure it from the initial line in the anti-clockwise direction. Negative angles, however, measured from the initial line in the clockwise direction. Okay?